your PLA acting all brittle and just falling apart and not being able to really print with it? Well today, we talk about one possible solution to solve that problem. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video, as we discussed there in the intro, brittle PLA or filament, just filament in general, being brittle and just all of a sudden breaking. Um, so this is something I've run into um, that can just be frustrating that it'll be feeding, the PLA will break, and then, well, shoot, I got a ruined model. And you know, I ran into it with this roll. It was brand new out of the packaging, which was what really surprised me. But I was noticing I would be back there. I finished, I actually did a full print with this roll. And then I went back there the next day and I looked up and I noticed it was snapped, but it was still holding on by a thread. It was really weird. So I grabbed hold of it to pull the PLA out and it started snapping again. Now I live in the mi middle of the United States in Missouri, which can have humidity, no humidity. Uh, Missouri just can't really make up its mind on its weather. So, hey, that's just the way it is here. So I got to thinking about it and I did some research and that, and I was just kind of like, you know, maybe, and I looked at weather conditions and stuff like that and the humidity had gone up. So I thought maybe that this had just absorbed some water basically absorbed the humidity and made itself brittle, which it can't, usually happens over time, but who knows how long this sat in a warehouse or when it was packed and moisture get in with it. So basically moisture's gotten into the filament and caused br brittleness. So today we are unboxing a tool that will hopefully help with that. So this tool is a filament dryer, but I've also read that you could put this in your oven at 50 degrees Celsius for about an hour or two and see if that would help at all, but I really didn't want to put this in my oven. So uh, I got in touch with Sunlu and they sent me their 3D printer filament dryer to open on the video today. If I turn around the right way, there we go. So um, we're actually going to try this guy out and see how it goes. So let's open up the box and see what we've got. <clears throat> I do really like the packaging. It's really nice. So basically this is a temperature controlled dryer that you can put your filament in and it should dry it back out and restore the elasticity. So, and what was really cool about this one was you can have this on, have the filament spool in here and have it feeding to your printer. That caught my attention. So, and of course, you know, we need the handy dandy instructions because the power cord's probably in here as well. So let's undo the tape. Let's get into this guy. So it's very lightweight. I'm actually kind of surprised how light it is. But we got the hidden away power cord. Nice piece of foam that we will keep for kit bashing or something over on the other channel. And really there's not much to this. You can see the rollers in there so it will roll on the actual rollers as it goes around. So all we gotta do, take our filament, pop her in there, get that in the hole. And plug her in. And the recommended temperature that I saw was 50 C, which, you know, that's about build plate temperature. Uh, let's find the United States instructions. <laughs> find English. Turn on filament loading personnel. And we set the dryer times. So recommended for PLA is baking time 45 to 50 degrees Celsius for three to six hours to dry out the whole spool. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna get this guy powered on and get it drying and we will take a look at this film at spool when it's done. Catch you guys when it's done. Okay, so I'm set at 50. And I guess that's all I got to do is let her run. There we go. All right, guys, I let this thing run for three hours and the filament's nice and warm. And then I take it back out. Here's the real test. It didn't just snap. That's a huge improvement over what was going on. 
So, and it's sticking together. Ah. <laughs> so the brittleness is gone, which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to trying to print with this roll and see what I get and see if it works right. So if you're having a problem with it or you live in a high humidity area or you've got these stored down in a basement or anything like that, you can do tub, you can get tubs as well and keep the silica packets and just throw it in the tub and throw your filament in the tub too is another way to store this to try to keep moisture away, which this had a silica pack in with it. But uh, I need to get this little piece off, but it definitely gave it back its elasticity, which is awesome. I don't want to cause a tangle here, so I'm trying to get the spool put back together. So honestly, I'm really excited to give this a try. Um, follow me over on Instagram if you want to see the results, but this is one way of getting your filament from being brittle to actually being good, strong, usable filament again. So this is one option. Another option, like I said, storing them, keeping them in a dry place is key for anything that you store with filament, especially once it's been opened. So if you guys like the content today, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button down below. It does help the channel out. If you've got any questions about this, link for this is down in the description below from Amazon as well. So um, when I looked it up last time, they were having a good coupon on it too. You were getting, this is usually about 75, 80 bucks. They had it for 55. So um, that sale changes. Who knows? Sunlu, uh, Amazon, who knows why they change. But the sales do come and go. So definitely keep an eye out for on it. If you're using a product like Honey or something like that, set a reminder. That way you can keep track of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I do highly recommend this guy. And we will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, a little bit of crap on this one. So I went and used the filament and it printed perfectly. Not only have I printed some hard drive caddies for some new servers that I'm working on, but I also printed a bigger project, but you guys will have to catch me in the future to see that one. So again, thank you guys. See you in the next video.